So how do you find working with young people aged 16 plus? Wonderful. Um, they come with all sorts of challenges. Um, varied in many ways, but they have so much to offer. And you're the one that's actually supporting them to help them budget and become independent cleaning and cooking and all the rest of it. But they have so much insight to many things. And the support from the workers um, and what have you, supervising social workers, support is fantastic. If I have a problem, I've got a face to a name and they will give me advice, um, which is usually quite good. I don't necessarily always agree, but I can see the bigger picture and we work through it and we achieve the right outcomes for the young people. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the different types of young people that you've worked with? Um, I've had respite care, which is young people that come in um, for a short period of time while another provider may be on holiday or gone into hospital or something. I've had specific timescales of young people coming in prior to um, their birthday or what have you and you get a limited amount of time to try and teach as much as possible, that could be three months. Um, I've had other young people that I've had for three years. Um, I've had different cultures, um, different, completely different backgrounds of young people. Some are homeless, some are leaving care young people. It can be um, a breakdown in a family relationship. Um, depending on the needs of the young person can depend on the time scale that you have them um, and the involvement, you know, what their pro the projection for that young person is. Um, some of them will go into independent living um, and that can be in different places from the YMCA to the foyer. Um, it can be into independency. Um, because the young person you had just recently has gone into work on Yeah, the young person was with me for a very long time. Um, we went through um, the supporting role of supporting her with council applications and whatever. She's an ex-care leaver. Um, and we then helped to get her set up in her own accommodation, which was provided by the council. They're doing a great um, a job. To be able to buy all the things that were needed. And the support is still there, although she's gone into independent living. There is still a support network that's there, which will carry on through with her till I think, believe she's 21. Um, that if there's any issues that arise or whatever, and also myself is still around to help support the needs if the time arises. Well, the young person can be supported by the 16 plus team. They have their own individual workers. And there's lots of different support networks, as in CAMS, um, youth offending, um, health, um, all sorts of education, which obviously, depending on the young person's need, depending on what services that they will access, but there, there's so many different support networks for the young people that can be accessed by them to support any of their needs, whether it be education, health, uh, mental health issues, whatever. Yeah. Um, there's people provided at every level for them to be able to talk to and support them. Right, need to check the time. Um, I love what I do. Um, and the outcomes can be so rewarding. What you achieve with them, what they, how they are when they arrive, and see how they grow while they're with you. And that can be from budgeting to their personal hygiene improving, to getting into college, going for a job, going into complete independent living. Um, and I'm fortunate enough that quite a few of the young people that I've worked with over the years still come and see me, keep in contact. I think it's wonderful.